people in Hawaii, wherever they may be, there's somebody from Waianae that left this island, yeah? And they're gonna go on top of your blog and they're gonna freaking connect. You know what I mean? Oh shit, that's the harbor. Look who's here! Hi! What's up you guys? It's your girl Fire here and in today's vlog I'm going to show you guys um, homelessness in Hawaii from my mom's experience, from my dad, or my dad, my uncle's experience um, and how real it is out here. Okay, so they're going to share their little stories and stuff like that um, for a lot of you that's just like trying to gun hole and come here and move. I don't think that's very smart money is key have lots of money and have a good mindset because if not this could be you say hi hi my name is Vitsi Lucio Kuipu and we are in Wainai Wainai boat harbor right now my mom doesn't live here at the boat harbor but she lives at the shelter that's right up the street this is how people in Wainai live to survive being homeless this is a camp where it's a little community and it's very organized. Yeah. Um, they have curfew here. And yeah, they're very supportive towards each other. They also have donations where people come and donate food, clothing, and all kind of um, household needs here yeah. in this little community at the harbor. This is how organized they are. You have to have a mask to go inside. If not, then, then you have to go back out. But yeah, they're very supportive to each other. This is like the only homeless organization that I know is very supportive to each other. Yeah. But being homeless individually out there on the street is basically you're on your own. And it's either you do or you don't. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, get it when you can and just keep on going with it. So... I advise you to just, if you're homeless in Hawaii, just keep going through the resources that they do have. Eventually, you'll find somewhere that you feel comfortable with staying and being at, and you'll make it. This is my uncle. He was just washing his dishes, and, and now he lives inside of, and he lives in the when I camp, and now he's, I guess he's taking a shower. Yeah, this is where they shower and wash their dishes. <laughs> They shower and wash the dishes here. Oh, and he's also black Hawaiian. Say hi, Uncle Joe. I just did it, but I'm blog, right? I'm blog. Yeah, it's on the blog. Okay. We're going inside. Yeah. My uncle took Why? a bird bath. Where are you going? <laughs> Grab my stuff. Oh. Look, take a picture. <laughs> We're going to my uncle's house. Not a house, it's my own little house. Yeah. Take a picture of that. That looks cool. Look like tiki. Somebody made that. Yeah. Uh -uh. And then they spray painted the eyes. This is all dry. Oh, coral land. Right. Exactly. What? How you know that, Missy? This is all coral. Where? This, what are we standing on? This is supposed to be water. Covered with water, yeah. but it's all coral. Oh, is it? The water's... Dirt. Yeah. Yeah, this is all coral. Man-made. The military made this. Yeah. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. <laughs> it's supposed to be covered with ocean, but they stopped it up there. You know where I showed you? how ragged they look on the outside. No. This is not this one, yeah? This one, yeah. It is? Yeah. See right there? You see right How there? did you get all of this tarp up there? Um, I found it. You found all this? <laughs> you acquired all of this? <laughs> you know what? Nobody goes into nobody else's establishment. That's a lie, but they do. But anyway. Like I said, I'm the right? No. <laughs> So 
we are here at my uncle's house at the camp. And welcome to MTV Cribs Hawaii edition. Exactly. Come inside. And in Hawaiian, this is called a hale. A hale is a home. Looks like it's just with, um, Looks Nigerian. Okay, Cuban, I mean. No, Nigerian. Black? Yeah, it's African. Okay, it's African flag. <laughs> you want some sweets and stuff in there? Bring. Show us your crib. The African flag in Hawaii. So this is where. This is, this is the sleep. bedroom. The bedroom. Got a nice little chandelier here. This costs about 200 just to get. Can't get that anywhere. This is where he hangs his clothes. This is his closet. We got a uh, Bertle. Can't find Bertle. Georgia in the house. We got a Georgia hoodie. Made crafted in Paris, and then we come through the living room. room area. And we have the flag, oh. San Francisco flag. Don't forget the bike and the bike transportation. This is the transportation. We go everywhere during this thing. Um, we go to the beach, ride to the store, um, wherever you need to go. We'll take you. And we'll step into the kitchen. We have our stove top food here, condiments there. Uh, where he says his refrigerator was? Right there, the cooler. This is the refrigerator. It's the pantry. Pantry, and then we come out and we see us when we get dressed. <laughs> so a month usually is like, I mean, it's paid off, so you don't have to pay anything per month. You know, man-made, and when you build your own house, teach a man to fish, and then he builds his own house, and then you're rent-free. See that cross right there, Mitchie? Where? Right behind, behind you. Behind you. Hang it up. Where? Behind you, Ma. Turn around. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. That would do, right? Yeah, that'll do. And then, look, we have neighbors. Yeah, and Mitty, you can do that for his birthday. Coming up. This is our luxurious patio, the nine area. You have a barbecue grill. Barbecue grill, barbecue. Man made wall. Did you put these rocks here? All by myself. All by yourself. <laughs> yeah. Go my back. Division. We got Division. us a custom made table. tire t table. Home Depot don't got none of that. Oh. Our this chairs. Is cool. This is cool. Yeah. I would have one of these tables in my house. Yeah. Well, just got the thing. Paint it up. Okay. Paint it up. Clothes line. Yep. Hang up the clothes. Natural dryer. No electricity needed whatsoever. And voila. Oh. Alright, so we're gonna finish off this vlog with some of my mom's experiences with being homeless and just a few tips if you end up do going homeless um and yeah just just finishing off the video i was living in my car my husband passed away and yeah it left me living in my car so it's like this if you don't pick one day out of the week or two days out of the week to try to find any type of resources like help, EBT, financial, anything, shelter, like my husband, motivation. If you don't follow up with these things, yeah, being homeless on the street is no joke. Because their everyday living, you need at least fifty dollars to live, 
And if you're a female, it's, <laughs> it's fucking hard. It's really hard. So it was me and my dog, my husband's dog. Stop. <laughs> my day consists of waking up in the morning, going to the park, taking a shower. After I take a shower, I would drive around and find a cool spot, spot to sleep. Again, <laughs> because I was depressed and I had no family to help. And yeah, my daughters were in the mainland, but they was very supportive to me and I love them very much for helping me. You know, they'll send me money, money gram, <laughs> every, almost every day. Both of my daughters, they was very supportive. Like I want the world to know it's Mitzi Chapman, homeless. I don't even want to be, do this homeless shit. Just do Uncle Joe. If you don't have money, if you don't have anything saved, if you don't have the right mindset, please stay where you are. Do not fly here, okay? You don't want to end up on the streets because it's just nothing but negativity. But it is what you make it if you know how to train. Get off the streets. So now she doesn't live in her car. She lives in a shelter in Waianae, and now they're working. You know, with COVID, it's kind of slow, but they're working on getting her a apartment. Yeah, and with the shelter part, I don't move from one, two, three different shelters <clears throat> because of the simple fact of the the facility that I was in, I didn't like it. It wasn't clean. They had bed bugs. They were bed bugs. All the shelters in Hawaii isn't, all of them aren't like clean or organized. They just kind of just put you there or, or fit you in. Yeah, and so I moved three different times to where, right now where I'm at, as far as on the west side in Waianae, but I like it because it's a veteran's shelter and it's clean, it's organized, the staff is lovely, they help you find housing, jobs, and yeah, it's all positive there. It's the Waianae Civic Shelter. So yeah, I'm finally content where I'm at. All right, you guys, <laughs> that's it. For this video thank you guys so much for watching and you want to say something aloha peace oh.